Now that we've defined our machine and our stock, we can extract the features to be machined on this part. There are a couple of ways to do this. CamWorks has a function called Automatic Feature Recognition, which automatically identifies machinable features on a part and recommends the operation that could be used to machine it. This is a huge time saver. You also have the ability to define features manually. We'll explore both of these methods, beginning with the Automatic Feature Recognition. Before I run Automatic Feature Recognition, or AFR, I'm going to tell CamWorks what features I want to look for. Since we're using wire EDM, I may want to tell CamWorks to ignore certain types of features, such as counterboard holes or multi-stepped holes. To do this, I can click the Options button from the CamWorks toolbar or select Options from the CamWorks drop-down menu. On the EDM Features tab, this is where I can tell CamWorks what to look for on the part. For this example, I'll have CamWorks look only for dies, open profiles, simple holes, and perimeter punches, and click OK. To begin AFR, I can either right-click on the NC Manager and select Extract Machinable Features, or click on the Extract Machinable Features button in the CamWorks toolbar. Notice how several of these icons are grayed out. Moving forward, you'll notice how these icons will appear available as we complete some preliminary steps. When I click the Extract Machinable Features icon, you'll see the CamWorks message window appear that displays the progress and status of the current process. If you ever have trouble with any of these steps in creating your toolpath, this message window is a great place to troubleshoot. Now, the window only appeared for a moment when I ran AFR, but I can reopen it using this icon here to review the processes that CamWorks completed. In the CamWorks Feature Manager tree, you'll see it's been updated to show a new part setup and the machinable features that were identified on the part. The part setup that was created represents the Z-axis machining direction that a series of operations will be based on. Since all of the features on this part can be machined using a single orientation, only one part setup was created. If this part required multiple orientations to machine all of the features, you'd see multiple part setups listed in this tree. Under this part setup, you can see the features that were automatically recognized by CamWorks here in pink. The features are listed in the tree in the order they were recognized. At this point, it's a good idea to click through each of the features and consider the order in which they'll be cut. To reorder features, you can simply drag and drop them into the order you wish. I'll go ahead and drag the Open Profile features and the Punch feature and drop them at the end of the tree. To select more than one item at a time, I can hold down the Control key as I select them and drag them both at the same time. To make features a little easier to recognize, you can also rename them. To do this, you can either right-click on them and select Rename, or you can perform a slow double-click and then type in the name for each one. To finish up, I'll take another moment and click on each feature. Watch as they highlight in the graphics area. You may have noticed how CamWorks even recognized these tapered dies. You may also have noticed that CamWorks did not recognize the countersunk, counterbore, and multi-stepped holes on the part since we deselected those types of features in the Options window. In the next lesson, I'll show you how we can define those features interactively.